Oh, YouTube, it's Shark X Tutorials or Shark X, whatever you want to call me. Um, today I want, we're gonna learn how to how to render in Cinema 4D and how to set a keyframe. So I made I made a little um. Sorry if you guys can hear that I'm playing some Call of Duty in the background. I'm sorry about that. Um, well I made this little uh intro. T it's just something like this. It's not the best, but i am just made it so small. That's what she said, but, um, I just wanted to do that, so, what you're gonna do to set a keyframe is, I made, I made a little intro, but I'm just gonna show you guys on um, how I set key, well, how I set them, uh, I set, I mean, how you set a keyframe, so what you're gonna do, just, I'm just gonna add a one, just add your text, make it a little bit right there. Then all you do is you go down here and see this key thing right here. You just do that. And then we'll go to 20. And move this up here. So this is what it will look like. Okay, it'll, be, it'll go like this. It'll go. And you just go to the play right here and it'll just go. Whoop. That's how you set a keyframe. And to render it, just go to go to this thing right here, this white one. Okay, and then you go to general. It's the same output. You I usually I use 1280 by 720. I recommend you use that because it's pretty it's pretty cool. Then you go to all frames, then you go to save. And you guys can go to QuickTime Movie. I use AVI Movie because my computer doesn't do it. Then you want to click Alpha Channel. Then just name it to whatever format you want. I would put it in my intros right here. I'll go to gaming and intros. I made all these intros. So I hope you guys learned. And then all you do after that is you just press this. I didn't save it, so it's gonna say that. But yours get it'll take however long you make it. Just make sure you do the 720 before you start this, so then it doesn't look like crap. So um, I hope you guys like this, and um, peace.